Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Dorothy. Uh, my YouTube channel's name is lovemade.mo lovemade.mo I want to welcome you to this YouTube channel. This YouTube channel is all about medical laboratory technologies profession. Yes. Uh, myself, I'm a medical laboratory technologist profession. I want to bring you good news. Uh, on how the world has evolved, on how um, medical laboratory profession right now is on another level. It's not the medical laboratory profession that we know we, we, we all thought. Uh, right now, we have so many opportunities out here. We have so, so many uh, chances and uh, we really thank God for that, that God has remembered our profession. We thank God that God has really uplifted us to a point where we can now get job overseas. Yes. So my channel will focus on ways in which you can get jobs overseas. Uh, the country of focus here mainly will be the USA, but other countries like Canada, UK, and Australia will also feature. I want to thank you all for watching me. Kindly like and subscribe to this YouTube channel. I am a new YouTuber. Um, I can't make it without your help, guys. So kindly uh, subscribe to this YouTube channel and I'll take you through the steps that you need uh, in order to become a medical laboratory technologist, most especially in the US. I'll give you the steps, the guidelines, the journey, everything that you need to know about it. I'll be able to give you the guidelines and I'll be able to tell you what is the requirement, what is required. Uh, I'm glad that the world is opening up. I'm so grateful that the world is opening up. So kindly guys, subscribe to this channel, uh, invite your friend, share, and let us walk in this journey together. So for now, that will be just be my introduction. But for my next video, I'll tell you the first step of becoming a medical laboratory technologist in the US. Just keep your papers together, keep your transcripts together, keep your certificates together. We'll, I'll be able to share with you uh, how you can apply for these opportunities. You don't have to be jobless. You don't have to be to hustle. I know in our countries we are hustling, we are, giving, we, we are being given a minimum wage, but no, uh, our profession has finally been remembered. Guys, uh, there is a chance out here for all of us. Especially if you have a bachelor's degree in medical laboratory technologies, then you are at a great advantage. If you don't have, you have a diploma. Nowadays, a degree is like uh, two, two, two years. You can go back. In the next two years, you can do your degree. And then after that, you can apply for this opportunity. Trust me, in the next five years, you can be where you want to be. Yes, guys. Oh, yeah. Thank you so much listening to me kindly uh, uh, check my next video that will explain the first step of becoming a medical laboratory technologist in the United States of America thank you hello again what's up my people welcome back to my youtube channel as I promised you I'll come back with more yes I'm here with more now I want to tell you about the first step of becoming a medical laboratory professional in the US. Yes. First of all, guys, have you all done your bachelor's? You know, many years ago when some people were doing diplomas and higher diplomas, some of us were discouraging them, telling them there's no way, there's no way you can advance, there's no way you can do, there is um, nowhere that that degree can take you. There is nowhere that uh, that higher diploma can take you such a No, 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 no. We will be We are finally doing Right now, your bachelors can take you somewhere. 
Right now, your diploma can take you somewhere if you upgrade it to a degree. Yes, guys, guys, guys. So that is the first step of becoming a medical laboratory technologist in the US. You need to have a bachelor's degree in medical laboratory technologist. Technology, sorry. Uh, you also need to have graduated your college. You don't need to be in school right now. You need that you, 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 you've graduated and you are currently working. Those are the requirements, uh, the, the main requirement before the other requirement follows. Yes. And then another uh, document that you need is that you need your transcripts. Yes. And uh, you are asking, what if I did my degree, my diploma first, and then now I'm doing my degree? Do I still have a chance? Yes. The answer is yes. You still have a chance of be becoming a medical laboratory profession in the U.S. Uh, all you need to do is uh, you need to do an evaluation. Evaluation that will determine that uh, your bachelor's is equivalent to the bachelor's in the U.S. So guys, on the coming videos, I'll be able to tell you how that evaluation is done, the agencies that does the evaluations for you, how much it costs, how long it will take, yes, and anything important about that evaluation. Uh, uh, also, certification of transcripts. I'll be able to tell you that. But first of all, have this document in hand. You need your certificate, your graduation certificate. So if you're a student, this is not a route for you right now. First graduate, get your certificate, get your transcripts, and then now you uh, can be able to pursue that opportunity. Number two, you need a transcripts, as I've said. Uh, number three, you need to be working. You need to be working in an hospital. Uh, I'll be able to share with you what type of hospital, the bed capacity of that hospital, your working hours in that hospital, because that is also a major step of you becoming a medical laboratory technologist in the U.S. So guys, um, if you don't have your papers, kindly go get them. If you don't have your transcript, start paying for them. If you don't have a, a certificate for a reason or the other, or if you've not graduated, kindly graduate, and then we will talk more. This video uh, has several steps. So this is just uh, the first step of becoming a medical laboratory technologist in the U.S. Kindly, guys, subscribe, like, share um, to your friends, to your colleagues, to tell them that it is possible. Jia imefunguka. The, the way is open. Finally, God has remembered this noble profession. Uh, most of the time we were seeing nurses going, physiotherapists going, IT guys going. Um, other professions were really, um, uh, were really making their way out of this country. And we were wondering, okay, uh, how, 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 how can this noble profession of medical laboratory profession make their way out of this country? And we really thank God for Corona. We thank God for COVID. Uh, if it was not for COVID, this profession will still be under the sand. This profession will not, uh, people will not know about us. Uh, it's COVID that exposed this profession. COVID uh, came and exposed this profession to the world that, oh, we have such and such people. Uh, actually, if you want to get a test, you have to go through the lab. And who works in the lab? Medical laboratory technologists. We featured in high-end TV stations. We featured in CNN. We featured in BBC. We were able to come out to the world that in the healthcare system, we also exist. In the healthcare system, we are important. We are important as doctors. We are important as nurses. We are important as physiotherapists, as um, psychologists, and all the other health, uh, healthcare practitioners. So 
uh, we really thank God because of COVID. Uh, COVID was bad. COVID killed a lot of people. COVID um, destroyed economies. But COVID did as well. COVID uplifted us up. COVID marketed us. Uh, we were little known uh, profession. Right now, I will encourage uh, uh, the, the people who have daughters and sons out there, kindly, uh, nursing positions are filling up in medical uh, uh, medical colleges. Sorry. Uh, right now, you have a chance of taking your son and daughter to do medical laboratory technologies. It's a noble profession. It's a good profession. Your son and daughter's eventually become scientists, become researchers, become investigators. You can be able to, uh, they can be able to advance their career and grow in this profession. So guys, that is the first step of becoming a medical laboratory uh, technologist, yes, in the US and even other countries, yes. So I repeat again, have your bachelor's certificate ready. Have your transcripts ready. Have, uh, have an employment opportunity ready for you. Like be employed, be working uh, on a permanent basis. Okay, contract is well and good, but more so over on a permanent basis because all they want to know, all these employers want to know is are you working in all the sections of the lab? Are you rotating in all the sections of the lab? So this is another video that I'll do of what employers want to know from you. Uh, but for now, that is the first step of becoming a medical laboratory profession in the US. Thank you guys for listening to me. Kindly don't forget to like, uh, subscribe, share with your colleagues and friends. I really appreciate you for listening to me. Thank you, guys. See you soon. See you on the next video. Bye-bye.